Pray this in the name of your Son, our Lord, and our Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. Good afternoon. Welcome to Watertown, Wisconsin, on the campus of Maranatha Baptist University. We are glad that you chose to spend the afternoon with us on this chilly but sunny day in Watertown, Wisconsin. Wherever you are, wherever you may be joining us from, thanks for coming along for this ride this afternoon as we see the Maranatha Baptist University Sabercats facing off against the visiting Martin Luther College Knights from New Ulm, Minnesota, South Central Minnesota. It's about a two-hour drive from Minneapolis, about two miles south of the town of Klausner, Minnesota. Sabercats coming off a monster victory last night on the road in Dubuque, Iowa. We'll have more on that as we progress through the afternoon. A big night for Torres, a big night for Morrison. So they will look to keep the offensive things moving in the right direction as Simpson knocks down the jumper in front of the Knights bench. And first possession for the Knights. Starters for the Knights, by the way, in case you missed them. Engelbrecht, Adi, Witkowski, Rose, and Dewey on the floor for the Knights as Johnson flips it back. First possession results in a turnover for the Knights. And then the Sabercats pay back the favor as Engelbrecht comes away with the basketball. Witkowski is the leading scorer for these Knights. She's averaging 12.3 points per game. As she turns it up in the lane, can't connect. Was open there for a moment underneath the basket. Unable to finish. 
the 5'10 sophomore out of St. Joseph, Michigan. Johnson cross court to Morrison, steps in the lane, a floater through, and Morrison, a good start. On the wing, Witkowski can try to answer, no, too strong. Rebound falls to Adi, and then loses the handle. Sabercats basketball, Johnson. Morrison again in the lane, it rises up, can't get it to go. Carly Johnson, the rebound underneath. And Sarah Dewey in the air with the foul. Morrison into Torres. Dewey got a hand. Johnson spins back out to her sister. Now Torres will pop for three. No. Rebound around. Witkowski couldn't grab it. Morrison back to Johnson. Bounces across the lane to Kelsey Johnson. Morrison to Kelsey Johnson. Baseline jumper, no. Simpson tried tipping it and came through the body. So one, pow one foul apiece to start the game. In the lane, Rose spins back out to Witkowski. Taken away from Witkowski on the baseline. And now Johnson ahead to Morrison. Gets past Adi and draws a foul going to the rim. First free throw rattles around and out for Morrison. She, not used to seeing that in the last couple of days, she went 13 for 13 from the free throw line last night in Dubuque. And goes one for one on her first trip today. So, doesn't have to worry about keeping the streak alive. Spinning at the key, it's Rose down to Wachowski. Johnson on the floor wrestling with Rose for the basketball. It's a held ball, stay with the Knights on the possession arrow, who have yet to score. Adi will inbound from the baseline. Pass a little tall for Wachowski, she can try to save it. Nothing doing on the offensive end for the Knights. Pass tipped away. Good hustle by Dewey to prevent an easy basket. Rosa Torres wasn't even looking for the basketball. Now Simpson back out to Torres. On the wing is Morrison for three. No. Johnson the rebound. Tips it to herself. Again is good. Rose flips it across to Witkowski. Baseline drive. And a foul is going to be called against the Sabercats. Carly Johnson picking up her first. Luttrell's into the game for Simpson. And Schwartz in for Engelbrecht for the Knights. Rose almost lost the handle. Now Adi pulls it back out for the Knights. Rose. Adi can't connect for three. Morrison the rebound. Torres ahead. 
cut off by Schwartz. Morrison circulates back to Johnson. And a foul is going to be called on Sidney Luttrell. Moving screen. And a timeout taken by the Knights. We'll be right back to Watertown after this short break. Are you looking for something to do? Come into Watertown Bowl 18 or Watertown Bowl North and enjoy our friendly, courteous service along with a clean family atmosphere. Our family-operated business strives to give you, your family, and friends a pleasant experience each and every time you visit. Check out our website at watertownbowl.com for hours of operation and for weekly specials. Knights looking for some answers on the offensive end. They have missed all four of their field goal attempts to start this game. Two from deep. Adi to Witkowski. Into the game for the Knights, Samantha Paul. Number 21 working against Luttrell in the post. Rose. In the lane, floats it up and in. There's the first basket for the Knights. Sabercats starting off three of six from the field. Luttrell comes to help Morrison, who had picked up her dribble. Torres flips to Luttrell. Two seconds to shoot. Morrison has to rise up at the horn. No. And a shot clock violation. Good defending from the Knights. A lot of ball movement for the Sabercats. Not a lot of penetration into the lane. And results in a forced up effort from Morrison. The 2-3 zone has been working for the Sabercats on the defensive end causing all kinds of problems. They've won five games in a row employing this defensive look. Simpson gets inside. Does draw the foul, can't complete the attempt, but will have two free throws. The foul is gonna be whistled against Rose. It's her first freshman forward out of West Bend. First free throw from Simpson, rattles around and down. A lot of Knights fans in the crowd today. A lot of Wisconsin natives on their team. So an opportunity to see family today. Simpson's second free throw long. Rebound, Paul. Adi. In the lane, Paul lost the handle. Now Torres and Morrison ahead. Morrison runs the basket, blocked. Great play by Adi, now she's ahead. Flips it ahead to Wikowski. Back to Schwartz, jumper no. And underneath, Adi gets it to Witkowski. Shot clock inadvertently reset here. I think there was a little confusion at the table regarding whether or not the ball hit the rim. So the officials conferring with the scorer's table. Knights coming into this one are 1-21 one and 21 on the season. So really hungry for a win on the road here today. During the stoppage, Johnson will enter for Johnson. The Knights compete in the Upper Midwest Athletic Conference in Minnesota. They are currently at the bottom of that conference. 
a 1-13 record in conference. Witkowski, strong to the basket, blocked. Johnson's going to pick up her second foul, I believe. Witkowski connects as Jamie Wooling checks in for the Knights. Adi gets her first break of the game and Witkowski knocks them both down. Knights within four. Simpson hands to Johnson. Torres for three. Short and falls harmlessly out of bounds for the Knights. Torres with a career high 25 points last night in the Sabercats one point win at Emmaus. A slower start this afternoon. And Torres will head to the bench as Trisha Wright checks in. Flipped into the lane for Paul. Shot won't go. Underneath, balls batted around. And Witkowski touched it while she was out of bounds. Sabercats basketball. Three minutes to play in the first quarter. A little bit of a sluggish start. Johnson lost the handle. Took her eye off the pass and then the ball out of midair ended up bouncing off her forehead <laughs> back across. Comedy of errors there for Carly Johnson. I was saying it's a little bit of a sluggish start, not a surprise for a one o'clock tip on a Saturday on a college campus. And a held ball will give the ball back to the Sabercats. Ashley Narrett checking in for Johnson. Good discipline from Carly Johnson there, playing the next couple minutes of play uh, without picking up a foul. As she currently has two. Right across to Morrison. Narrett bounces to right. Now Narrett for three. Too strong. Looked good leaving her hand, but just a little bit too much mustard on that. Witkowski bounces down the lane for puts. In the lane, Witkowski, strong move to the basket, can't get it to go off glass. Morrison to Simpson for three. Way long. And Schwartz the rebound, pushes it across midcourt. Puts rises up, can't connect. Neither team really shy shooting the basketball so far, but neither team very successful either. Across to Morrison from Narrett, no. Witkowski and Luttrell struggling for the ball on the ground. Puts, flips to Schwartz. On the wing, Witkowski for three. Just off the front of the rim. Engelbrecht the rebound in the lane. And then throws it behind. Puts. Back into the game for the Knights. Cassandra Rose. And just into the game. Grace Williams for her first action of the afternoon. Right. Johnson back out to Narrett. And Jamie Wooling picks up the foul. Jamie 
Johnson at the elbow. Working against Rose. Cut off by Rose and puts together. And... Janet puts held Johnson, who steps to the free throw line. First free throw, good. Sabercats just 3 of 12 to start the game. 25% from the floor. But 4 of 6 from the line. And they've got a 10 to 4 lead as we have less than 40 seconds to play in the opening quarter. Williams to Rose, too tall for puts and out of bounds. Another errant pass is the eighth turnover for the Knights. And the Sabercats with the turnover. Shot clock is off as Engelbrecht across to Williams. Behind the back to Wooling. Wooling now in the lane. Tries to bounce across for Puts. Three seconds to shoot. Morrison ahead to Narrett at the horn. Couldn't grab it cleanly. And so the Sabercats lead by six heading to the second quarter. We'll be right back to Watertown for second quarter action. How much money do your home's energy bills steal from your wallet every month? Well... Heating your home takes a third of your energy money, water heating takes over a tenth, and air conditioning takes over a tenth. Those alone account for more than half of your monthly energy bill. Since 1979, Klecker's Heating and Air Conditioning of Watertown has been selling and installing high-quality, state-of-the-art, energy-efficient home comfort equipment and providing maintenance services to existing equipment to keep it running at peak efficiency and saving you money. Call them today at 920 261 9218 to learn how Kleckers can help you keep more of your energy money in your wallet. Welcome back to Watertown. The Sabercats lead by six. Certainly, maybe not the quarter they were hoping for after last night's big win on the road in Emmaus, at Emmaus. 25% from the floor, 66% from the line. Three turnovers for the Sabercats. Witkowski underneath connects. Just the second field goal for the Knights. Right way long. The Knights just shooting the basketball at 15% from the floor. So it's been a lot of missed attempts so far. There's another one as Rose in the lane ties up. And it'll be Sabercats basketball. Four-point game. Morrison with a lefty drive. Dishes wide to Torres for three. Too, too strong on that attempt as well as Torres. And Dewey for the Knights. Kicks wide to Wachowski. Engelbrecht. Adi in the lane to Rose. Back out to Engelbrecht. Adi for three. Connects. Faith Adi, the 5'7 junior out of York, Nebraska, brings the Knights within one point. And if you're Coach Dave B. Bender, Bender, excuse me, you've got to be pretty happy with the fact that you're within one point after having shot 20% from the floor in the first 
11 and a half minutes of this ball game. Rose turns at the top of the key. Witkowski across to Engelbrecht off the glass. And the Knights have their first lead of the game. 11 to 10. Five straight points for the Knights. Johnson, no. Rose corrals the rebound. Rose. Runner in the lane, no. Witkowski almost grabbed the rebound. Morrison kicks to right. Knights on a 7-0 run right now. Starting back in the first quarter. Right, hands to Johnson for three. Too strong again. Almost strange how every miss for the Sabercats right now seems to be long. Three-pointer from Engelbrecht. No. Johnson the rebound. And no foul called as Sarah Dewey came crashing in for the offensive rebound. Johnson flips across to right. Simpson ducks out of the way of defenders. Johnson touch pass to Morrison. Shot fake pass was Kautke. Was, excuse me, Witkowski. And finally, the Sabercats able to score, give themselves a one-point lead and a timeout taken by Dave Biedenbender. We'll be right back to Watertown. Brad Kinsey and Realty Executives Platinum are intimately familiar with the demographics of the southeastern Wisconsin market. Located in Watertown, we employ sales executives and brokers who are dedicated to helping you find your dream home, as well as assisting you in acquiring the most for your property sale. Be assured that we are always looking out for our clients' best interests and dealing with you honestly. Your satisfaction is the measure of our success. Martin Luther College leads the all-time series with the Sabercats 2-0. It's only the third meeting between these two teams. And the last time they met, Martin Luther won by 30. The f it was the first game of the 2014-15 season, so it's been a while since these teams have faced off. Martin Luther did beat Northland College earlier this season by one. The game was in December. And that's a shared opponent with the Sabercats as Johnson gets the floater to go inside. Sabercats beat Northland by five in their matchup earlier this season. Torres takes it away from Paul. Morrison fouled from behind by Sarah Dewey. Sabercats will keep the ball, leading by three. Johnson in the lane, gets it to go. Kelsey Johnson now with eight points. She's the leading scorer for both teams on three of five from the field. Sarah Dewey walked. Sabercats basketball, five and 15 to play in the first quarter. Morrison throws it away as Dewey now on the break. Right past Morrison is Dewey. Wild layup attempt doesn't go. Morrison. 
Morrison flips it across the court. Torres has to save it. Pass a little bit too tall. Dewey on the loose ball. Witkowski in the lane to Paul. Fouled and... Will shoot two free throws. The foul's on Kelsey Johnson, her first. And first for the Sabercats in the second quarter. Paul from the free throw line, wide right, as Janet puts, checks into the game for the Knights. Coach Morrison calls a timeout. We'll be right back to Watertown. Are you looking for something to do? Come into Watertown Bowl 18 or Watertown Bowl North and enjoy our friendly, courteous service along with a clean family atmosphere. Our family-operated business strives to give you, your family, and friends a pleasant experience each and every time you visit. Check out our website at watertownbowl.com for hours of operation and for weekly specials. Five-point lead for the Sabercats, 4 and 45 to play in the second quarter. Samantha Paul at the free throw line. One more attempt. Luttrell back into the game for the Sabercats. Second free throw, almost a carbon copy of the first for Samantha Paul. She'll head to the Knights bench as Engelbrecht checks back into the game for the Knights. Four of 20 from the floor for the Knights. One of five from behind the three-point line and two of four from the free throw line. Good touch pass from Johnson to Luttrell. Can't finish. Ball seemed to hang on the rim for a couple of seconds and then fell out of the cylinder. Luttrell will shoot two free throws. First attempt long for the 62.5% shooter from the free throw line, Luttrell. And again, another carbon copy miss on the second attempt. Witkowski bounces across to Adi. Engelbrecht. Ball tipped by Morrison. Adi rises up, can't get it to go. Johnson the rebound on the weak side. Morrison behind the screen. Across to Johnson, too strong on the attempt. Witkowski tied up for a moment, flips it back out to Adi. Three pointer for Adi, no. Loose ball underneath. Johnson comes away with the basketball. Morrison to Johnson. Now Morrison, baseline drive against Engelbrecht, gets it up. And one. So Morrison able to finish through contact and has a chance for three from the free throw line. Johnson heads to the bench as Simpson checks back in. And Morrison gets it to go off the front end of the rim. Extending the Sabercat lead out to eight. Puts out to Adi. Now Schwartz. 
Rose working against Luttrell. Johnson took it away. Help defense from Johnson. Flips to Luttrell. Morrison. Bounces to Simpson. Shot fake. Now Morrison in the lane. Rises up. Kent in traffic. Simpson to Johnson. Johnson working against Engelbrecht. Flips it to Simpson. Not operating on the same wavelength. So it'll be Knights basketball, 2 and 28 to play in the second quarter. Underneath, Engelbrecht able to get it to go off glass. It's pretty even support for both teams here today. A lot of visiting fans. Maybe some have traveled from Minnesota, but probably a good contingent here from Wisconsin. Several players on the Knights roster listed as Wisconsin natives, so relatively even support for these two teams here in Watertown. Sarah Dewey surveying her options, flips across to Putz. Three-pointer from Putz is good. Three-point game. The Knights will not go away. The Sabercats can't pull away. And then Dewey runs over Torres. It's the third foul on Dewey. So Witkowski back onto the floor for the Knights. Torres for three. Way long again. Witkowski. Another three-pointer from Putz. No. So definitely hit the upright. Whistle with a little bit late from the official, but he got it right. And a minute and two seconds to play in the first half. It has been an offensive struggle for both teams. Sabercats currently shooting 28% from the floor. Martin Luther currently shooting 24% from the floor. Morrison to Luttrell, three seconds to shoot. Johnson somehow gets it to go. So through the contact, Johnson's able to finish. Man, a lot there for uh, Knights fans to bemoan. Looked like Morrison may have had a double dribble on the baseline drive. I don't know if the officials ruled there was contact from the Knights. And then late shot clock, Luttrell's able to find a cutting Johnson for a three-point play. Rose on the other end. Draws a foul from Luttrell. It's the second foul. For Luttrell. So Rose steps to the free throw line for two. <laughs> Williams. And Samantha Paul in for the Knights. Missed free throw, but Paul able to get the rebound over Luttrell. In the lane, shot won't go for Wooling. Morrison dribbles out of trouble and a reach-in foul called against Jamie Wooling. Morrison seems to just have a knack. She's got her eyes up on the ball, surveying the court, able to find open spaces. 
And first free throw. Long for Morrison. It's got to be frustrating for Sabercats coaching staff and players alike to come soaring off of a big win on the road last night and just train comes to a screeching halt here on their home court. They still lead by six. Five seconds left in the first half. Rose at the elbow. Flips it up. Shot will not go. Is way off the mark. And the Sabercats lead by six as we head to the break. Want to thank you once again for joining us here in Watertown. We'll be back in 15 minutes for second half action. Don't go anywhere. Copleen Excavating wishes the Sabercats the best of luck. Call Copleen Excavating for all your excavating needs. For pickup or delivery, Copleen Excavating offers crushed limestone, fill dirt, screened topsoil, sand, mulch, and landscape stone. They are also a dealer for county materials, which includes paver and retaining wall blocks. Let Copleen Excavating put their 56 years of experience to work for you. Call Copleen Excavating today at 920 2621-2121. Are you looking for something to do? Come into Watertown Bowl 18 or Watertown Bowl North and enjoy our friendly, courteous service along with a clean family atmosphere. Our family-operated business strives to give you, your family, and friends a pleasant experience each and every time you visit. Check out our website at watertownbowl.com for hours of operation and for weekly specials. How much money do your home's energy bills steal from your wallet every month? Well, heating your home takes a third of your energy money, water heating takes over a tenth, and air conditioning takes over a tenth. Those alone account for more than half of your monthly energy bill. Since 1979, Klecker's Heating and Air Conditioning of Watertown has been selling and installing high-quality, state-of-the-art, energy-efficient home comfort equipment and providing maintenance services to existing equipment to keep it running at peak efficiency and saving you money. Call them today at 920-261-9218 to learn how Klecker's can help you keep more of your energy money in your wallet. How much money do your home's energy bills steal from your wallet? Brad Kinsey and Realty Executives Platinum are intimately familiar with the demographics of the southeastern Wisconsin market. Located in Watertown, we employ sales executives and brokers who are dedicated to helping you find your dream home, as well as assisting you in acquiring the most for your property sale. Be assured that we are always looking out for our clients' best interests and dealing with you honestly. Your satisfaction is the measure of our success.
Second half underway in Watertown. Engelbrecht gets it to go. And right back to a four-point game. Welcome back to Watertown. Torres long again. Johnson rips down the rebound. Hands to Simpson, who puts it in. Rose to Engelbrecht. Drive from Witowski is good. Witkowski, excuse me. Johnson jumper at the free throw line, no. Johnson is the leading scorer for the Sabercats. She's got 11. Morrison bounces to Torres. A collision. And the ball is given to the Knights. Adi to Rose. Rose moved her pivot foot. <clears throat> Morrison flips it out to Torres, has to save the ball back to Johnson. Good save from Torres. Morrison now for three, no. Torres the rebound on the weak side. Johnson comes to claim. Torres now on the wing for three. No. Johnson, the rebound on the weak side, puts it up and in. Sabercats have won eight of their last nine games. Their only loss in that stretch was back on January 24th when they lost to Wisconsin Lutheran. Morrison bounces to Torres, lays it up. No. Morrison, the rebound, flips to Simpson. Deep two for Simpson. No. That's got to be a travel. <laughs> As Rose fell to the ground. With possession of the basketball. Morrison flings it into Torres. Simpson underneath to Johnson, back out to Simpson. Errant pass out of bounds. Knights basketball. Sabercats last night, 69-68 win over Emmaus at Emmaus. Big time win in the North Region as a NCCAA Division II top 10 win as well. And almost 70 points in that game here this afternoon. They are on pace for less than 50. In the lane, Witkowski draws a foul. It's going to be the third, excuse me, second on Kelsey Johnson. Rather, that's the first. No, it is the second. Excuse me. Scoreboard's wrong. It is the second on Kelsey Johnson. And Witkowski makes both free throws. She's got eight. Engelbrecht has six. Johnson out to Torres. Carly Johnson for three, way off, but Simpson there for the rebound, puts it up and in and draws the foul. Simpson's free throw is good. 
Wright checking into the basketball game as Kelsey Johnson will take a seat. Sabercats lead by seven. Out wide, Witkowski for three is good. Emily Witkowski is, seems to be catching fire now here in the second half. She's got 11. And Torres flips it cross court. And out of bounds. Knights basketball. Schwartz traveled. 18th turnover for Martin Luther. Their 18 turnovers have only, though, led to nine of the Sabercats' points, so relatively fortunate in that category. Sabercats have just not been able to capitalize on those turnovers. Morrison. Right in the corner for three. Good. Big shot there for the Sabercats. Shot does not go. But the rebound falls back to the Knights. Schwartz flips it across. Witkowski down to Paul. Can't get it to go. Morrison. Out of bounds, it'll be Knights basketball. Ashley Narrett checking in for Rosa Torres. Rose and Wooling checking in for Engelbrecht and Adi. Wooling. Rose floats it down to Paul, flips out to Witkowski. Over the outstretched arms of Trisha Wright, drives to the basket. Morrison picks up her first, sending Witkowski to the line for two. Second free throw from Witkowski is good. Sabercats basketball. Simpson underneath, jump ball is going to be called as both Simpson and Rose went to the floor. Yeah. Underneath, Simpson lost the ball out of bounds. <laughs> Claiming it went off the Knights' foot, but the officials... Give the ball to the Knights. Simpson's heading to the bench and Luttrell back into the game. Witkowski kicked by Trisha Wright. Entry pass. Into the game, Janet puts as Schwartz heads back to the bench. Witkowski sidesteps Morrison, swatted by Johnson. Johnson rips it away to Morrison. Impressive play from Carly Johnson. Morrison ahead, sidesteps defenders, lays it off the glass and in. No shoe, not necessary. Morrison tripped up on her way to the basket, lost a shoe in the process. 
still able to compose herself and lay it off the glass with the left hand and in. Chance for three at the three point, at the, excuse me, at the free throw line. And that is another double digit offensive performance for Morrison. She's had a double digit point game every game this season except for two. And in those games, she had nine points in each game. Morrison has just been absolutely tearing it up offensively. And Trisha Wright with a great defensive effort. Causes the turnover. Jamie Wooling with the travel. She'll head back to the Knights bench as Sarah Dewey checks into the game. She's got three fouls, so she'll have to be careful for the Knights. Narrett for three. No. Johnson the rebound underneath. Fighting for positioning. Morrison flips to right. Now Morrison again on the wing. In the lane. Underhand toss to right. Johnson cross court to Narrett. Underneath is Luttrell. Floater for Luttrell. No. Loose ball. And Dewey away with the basketball. Ahead to Witkowski. Side steps. Narrett. Foul is called on the second attempt. Luttrell's whistle for the foul. It's her third. And Witkowski misses at the free throw line. One for two is Witkowski at the free throw line. Sabercats lead by seven. Three and 14 to play in the third quarter. Morrison for three. Yes. Callie Morrison shouldering the offensive burden while Kelsey Johnson is on the bench. Trisha Wright with another steal. Or breaks up another pass, I should say. Forced a turnover last time. This time she gets the steal. And a chance for the Sabercats to put together a little bit of a run here. Merritt's got to come for the basketball. Across to Johnson. In the lane is Morrison, but a foul called beforehand. It's Witkowski picking up the foul. Her first. Now Johnson for the Sabercats, 2 and 30 to play in the third quarter. Morrison flips it across to Narrett. Johnson bounces across to Morrison. Morrison somehow gets it to go. It looked like a travel. As she was able to sidestep defenders, but still a great finish from Morrison. Rose, Dewey for three. No, Johnson the rebound. This stretch here could prove costly for the Knights. And Narek can't make him pay from the three-point line. Adi lost the basketball. And over and back called. Morrison drives, strong to the basket. And Rose is going to pick up the foul. Into the game for the Knights, Paul and Schwartz. 
Sabercat lineup right now is Wright, Narrett, Johnson, Luttrell, and Morrison. Morrison at the free throw line. One more. Is good. Sabercats on a 12 to 1 run since the midway point of the third quarter. Schwartz drives. Luttrell stood her ground. Morrison at the free throw line, dumps it off to right, steps inside. Way long on the attempt is right. Under a minute to play in the third quarter. Knights trying to hang tough and keep within striking distance. Dump down low, to Johnson takes it away from Engelbrecht. Sabercats can hold for the final shot here in the third quarter. They lead by 14. Morrison in the corner for right. Three-pointer is good. <laughs> Fell down after she took the shot, did right. And the Sabercats will take a 17-point lead of the fourth quarter. We'll be right back to Watertown for the final 10 minutes of action here today. We'll be right back. Sabercats on a 15 to 1 run. And to close out the last five minutes of the third quarter, they have put some space between themselves and the visiting Knights of Martin Luther College. Do the Knights have an answer? Three point attempt, no. Dewey rips the ball down away from Morrison. Adi to Rose, caught in midair. Narek couldn't control. And then in the corner, wow. Narek from her knees able to find Johnson take the ball away from Witkowski. Ball tipped by Dewey. Dewey a really ferocious defender. She is just unafraid and really aggressive. Got to love that. Just been hindered by a little bit of foul trouble today. It's kept her from really having an impact on this game. Narrett's got to step inside. Johnson at the buzzer gets it to go. Off balance at the horn. No problem. Carly Johnson, a 16-footer, goes. Rose, no, right the rebound. Narrett to Johnson.
Johnson for three, short, gets her own rebound, runs into her own teammate. And Johnson's slow to get up. On the other end, Morrison blocks Witkowski. Impressive play, and then ahead to Johnson, who had slowly come back into the play. Johnson's heading to the bench. Looks like she'll be okay, just needs a breather. Three point attempt from Adi, short. And off the glass, Johnson grabs the rebound. Morrison driving against Wiskowski, spins. Rose blocked it, Johnson saved the ball out of bounds. <laughs> and, and if you believe in karma, as I say, you're about to observe it as Johnson saved it off of her own foot. It certainly appeared from my vantage point and the officials talking it over, they are gonna keep the ball with the Sabercats. So previous possession resulted in what seemed to be a faulty Knights basketball. And this time, Sabercats on the favorable end of a decision. Luttrell at the elbow, at the horn. Again, a late shot clock jumper, good for the Sabercats. A 19 to one run since the midpoint of the third quarter. And a foul as Wright came to close out Wooling on the wing. Three free throws coming for Jamie Wooling. She's a 50% free throw shooter. And first two free throws, good. All three free throws are good for Wooling. 18 point game. Knights need some stops in a hurry. Johnson rises up, can't get it to go. Luttrell inside for the rebound. Swat out of bounds by Wooling. Luttrell able to corral the inbounds pass. Johnson to Morrison for three. No. Right and Narrett there for the rebound and the Sabercats another possession. Right for three. No. Engelbrecht, strong rebound. Wooling ahead to Witkowski. Paul, eight footer, no. Nair at the rebound, Morrison. And now Johnson for the Sabercats. Morrison, shot fake, gets past the defender, Wooling. Can't connect, Wachowski, full head of steam the other direction. And Kelsey Johnson is going to pick up the foul and whistle for a hand check as Rose, Schwartz, and Adi checking in. Coach Dave Biedenbender using his full complement of players today. Every active player on the roster has played in the game and played significant minutes. Full timeout taken by Clayton Morrison and the Sabercats. We'll be back for the final five and 57 in the fourth quarter.
14 turnovers this afternoon for the Knights have led to 14 Sabercat points. In what has still turned out to be a relatively low scoring and poor shooting percentage afternoon for both teams. Sabercats still shooting around 33%. Been much better in the second half than the first half. Or I should say a little bit better. Underneath, Johnson can't get it to go through contact. Out of bounds off of the Knights. It'll stay with the Sabercats. Morrison leads all scorers with 19. Witkowski, the leading scorer for the Knights, has 14. Kelsey Johnson as well in double digits. She's got 13 on 5 of 11 from the field. A miss there in the lane might have been blocked partially. Adi Witkowski underneath out of bounds. The Schwartz entry pass to Putz was off the leg of Morris and out of bounds. Dewey into the game for the Knights. Finds Witkowski in the floater good. Right underneath, traveled. And with that last rebound, Kelsey Johnson now with a double-double on the afternoon. It's her 19th career double-double. On the wing, three-pointer from Faith Adi is good. And right away, a timeout taken by the Knights. They're back within 13, 4 and 40 to play. We'll be right back. Sabercats basketball out of the timeout. Knights opening up a little full court pressure. Callie Morrison ahead to Luttrell. And now a break on for the Sabercats if they desire. Luttrell taken away in the lane. Morrison there for the loose ball. Lays up off the glass. No. Right back out to Narrett. Johnson across to Morrison. Morrison with eight rebounds. Too shy of her own double-double with 19 points. Morrison in the lane to Luttrell. Good. That's another assist for Morrison. And Luttrell scores through the foul. Chance for three at the free throw line. Long on the attempt again is Luttrell. Consistent theme for her here this afternoon. Rose, Dewey, Adi lost the handle, has to save the ball in front of her own bench, bounces to Witkowski in the lane as Rose tied up by Johnson. It's the fourth on Johnson, so she's up against the limit now. Out 
of the missed free throw. The Knights still going full court pressure. Merritt lost the ball. Johnson ahead to Morrison. Helter Skelter stuff from the Sabercats, but effective. Johnson bounces to right. Luttrell at the top of the key. No. Johnson, the offensive rebound. That is how you kill a basketball game right there if you're a Sabercat fan. Take the sting out of the game, I should say. And a really weak foul going to be called on Sidney Luttrell. <laughs> I think the air from Luttrell closing out the defender there was what knocked her out of bounds. 14-point game, three to play. And Witkowski is fouled on the floor. So Witkowski will shoot free throws. Sabercats' Saber fifth foul <laughs> means the Knights are in the bonus for the remainder of this one. Schwartz and Dewey to the bench. Wooling and Engelbrecht in for the Knights. Wikowski's second free throw is good. Morrison, or Johnson, excuse me, ahead to Narrett. Morrison trapped, dribbles out of trouble. Composed offense from the Sabercats. Johnson for three, no. Merritt, the rebound, and out to Morrison. Again, an offensive rebound for the Sabercats. That is their 19th of the afternoon. Excuse me, the 20th offensive rebound for the Sabercats. And really helping to wind the clock down. Luttrell back to Morrison. Head fake in the lane. Bounces to Luttrell underneath. Fouled by Engelbrecht. That is just what the doctor ordered, though, if you're the Sabercats. Two full possessions. And drawing the foul right at the death of the shot clock was Luttrell. Engelbrecht whistled for the foul. Luttrell can't connect from the free throw line. Luttrell gets the second shot to go. 53 to 39. Rose, Witkowski for three. Good. Emily Witkowski, big bucket there. Knights within 11. Two minutes to play in Watertown. Right dribbled the ball. Witkowski knocked out of bounds. Sabercats basketball. Johnson will inbound on the far side of the court. Witkowski's got 20 points this afternoon on 5 of 13 from the field, 2 of 5 behind the three-point line, and 8 free throws from her 10 attempts. Right to Luttrell. Luttrell's pass a little bit off the mark, but Morrison able to corral. Morrison had a career-high 23 points last night with those 13 made free throws. And again, steps to the free throw line today. Now has 20. So coming close to that career-high watermark again. Shot good from Morrison, 21 points. Too shy of her career high set last night in Dubuque, Iowa. Johnson the rebound. She's got 13 rebounds this afternoon. And 13 points does Kelsey Johnson. 
Knights basketball. They trail by 13, a minute and 21 to play. Shot won't go for puts. Morrison now. A minute and six to play. Hands to Johnson. On the wing. Morrison. Across to Johnson in the lane. Floater from Johnson is good. Rose. On the wing, Witkowski drives past Morrison. Can't get it to go off glass. Luttrell the rebound. Morrison gets fouled. And so she'll step to the free throw line. Excuse me, she will not. They are not in the bonus yet. So just means there's a new shot clock for the Sabercats. They can really just hold the ball. Rose and Dewey. to the Knights bench. Johnson. Witkowski picks up the foul. Johnson will step to the free throw line. So Morrison's day is done as Hendricks checks into the game. Morrison will not best her career high of points from last night, 23. She finishes with 21 to go along with eight rebounds, five assists. Luttrell also takes a seat. Bosniak into the game for the Sabercats. Runner won't go off glass for Schwartz. Sabercats can hold the ball. So 36 second half points for the Sabercats helps them secure a 59 to 42 victory here on their home court. That is six wins in a row for the Sabercats, now winning nine of their last ten. They're on a tear. Coach Morrison has them playing their best basketball of the season. And it wasn't always pretty today. Certainly not the offensive performance the Sabercats were hoping for. And I'm sure equal sentiments from Martin Luther College as well. I want to say thank you, fans, for watching this presentation of Sabercats basketball on the Sabercats Sports Network. Next up for the Sabercats, they will host Rockford on Monday night. That's a 7 o'clock tip here in Watertown. Fans, you can stay up to date with all things Sabercats online at mbusabercats.com or by following the Sabercats on social media. Just use the, hash, the handle at mbusabercats. Just a reminder, we are set to bring you the live broadcast of the men's game in just a few minutes. We hope to see you then, but if not... Thank you for tagging along this afternoon. Hope you have a great weekend.